bienvenidos a todos una vez más al canal. Seguimos jugando en 5 citas. Seguimos con esta temática de San Valentín y vamos a continuar después de que hubiéramos tenido ya las tres citas que habíamos escogido. Y ahora creo que habíamos quedado repasando las redes sociales de las susodichas. So, Saffron, yeah, um, where to start? She had a lot going on. She had this super cool hipster vibe. Okay. And... Okay, okay, it's hard to tell, but there were some good moments. That means something. Good. Well yeah, done. So, good. Yeah. I c not, not great. No, no, I didn't say great. I said good. I didn't say great. But... Yeah, good, good, good. Okay, yeah. Just in the middle, but I don't know. I'm not sure. You get anything else? Surname? Anything? So just a job, but I reckon I could find it. There can't be too many sufferings nearby. Okay. Hold on, I'm just going to have a look now. I found her. I found her. Ah. Yeah, this is her. Hmm. Vale, tenemos a Saffron. No olvides regar tus plantas de interior. Ocho publicaciones, dos mil visualizaciones y 500 seguidores. No está mal. Vamos a ver las publicaciones. Una foto en exteriores, una foto bebiendo sabe Dios qué. Es muy el rollo zen. La vida del jockey. Aburrida. Tranquilidad igual a metas. Paisajes geniales, hola desde el metro, la llamaré tontorrona, hágase la luz. Me gusta, inocente. Yep. Get what you need? I think so. All right, bro. That's you then. So, there was Maya. Uh -huh. and, man, she was a real live wire from Spain. From Spain? Oh, oh. Hey, you gotta love the mamacitas. <laughs> How'd it go? How'd it go? Do you know what? Uh-huh. It was great. She seemed really cool, and I think she's into me. That's my boy. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> well done, boy. <laughs> I can't stop smiling. Um, uh, we need to do some more digging on her, man. Surname? Oh, I don't know. Give me something to work with, man. Uh... Well, she's Spanish, obviously, uh, and she's uh -huh. a language teacher in French and Italian. Does that help? Boom! Got her. You got Online her. language tuition database. Maya Orantes from Granada. Oh! -ho! Okay. Yes. Uh, hold on. Let me let me see if this is her. Yeah. Veamos. Maya Orantes, se fuerte. This is her. This Llega is her. This is her. This is her. I'm a genius. <laughs> yeah. Tenemos ocho publicaciones, nueve mil visualizaciones y esta es un poquito más influencer, con casi el triple de seguidores que la otra. Besos, vida festivalera, pastel... Es demasiada fiesta para mi gusto. Viva Granada. Siempre en mi corazón. Por aquí tenemos algo, ¿no? Vale. Muy bien. See what you need to see? Yeah, man. All right, all right. Sweet. So, Grace, uh, yeah, she was really high achieving okay. and very intense, but I don't know, I kind of enjoyed that. Mm. Sounds pretty good. How'd you fare? Yeah, listen, I could tell she likes me, man. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. The boy is out of the traps. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm. I, yeah. It was good. <laughs> it was good. I think it went really well. So. Yes, man. Of course it did. You're a catch. You're a catch. You're the catch. <laughs> I'm gonna get some more info. Surname? Uh, no, don't remember. Anything? She was just made partner at a big law firm. What's she doing talking to you? I think I've got her, Grace Huckle Renford, but oh, she's only listed as an associate at the law firm. Huckle Renford, yeah, okay, let me take a look, hold on. Vale, sí, la this tenemos. is her, this is her, this is, yeah, this is her. Yeah? <laughs> this is her, yeah, no, 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 I'm not lying, this is her. All right, all right, all right, cool. 
lo mejor de mí está por llegar. Vale, efectivamente, solo 96 seguidores, es la menos activa en redes sociales por lo que supongo. Relajada con un vino espectacular, recordando el cumpleaños de Jess, hecho de menos los viajes de trabajo, trabajando desde casa, derecho mercantil. Muy bien, por aquí no tenemos nada. Pues seguimos. ¿Y get the low down on Grace? Uh, I think so, I think so. Nice. Well, just remember, mate, you've now got to tell the app which two girls that you like so you can ask them out on the second date. Do I? Oh, why does it work like that? I don't know, to stop girls getting strung along and catching feelings. Bro, I don't know, I didn't make the app. Just, just answer. I need to think on it. Um, but listen, thank you for your help and I'm gonna get some sleep and I'll catch you tomorrow, yeah? No problem, bro. Have a good one, yeah? See you later. Good night. Envía dos invitaciones para una segunda cita. Vale. Como bien dije, descarto totalmente a Maya y me quedo con Grace y con Saffron. Y vamos a cogerlas en el orden en que lo hicimos la última vez, con Saffron de primera y con Grace de segunda. Se ha programado tu segunda cita con Saffron para esta noche. Las segundas citas son citas para jugar. Saffron ha elegido una actividad ajena a la aplicación. De acuerdo. Of course. Right where I expect you to be. Bro, I've been killing these kill streaks recently, bro. So, listen, I've got my second date with Saffron tonight. <laughs> nice work. What's the game? Uh, I think tarot, tarot reading, tarot reading. I think that's... Oh, um, those cards that people use to tell their future. That's the one, that's the one. Yeah, I'm kind of just approaching it with an open mind. It's the best way to be, bro. Have you chatted since the first date? You know what? Just radio silence. Nothing. Uh, that's all right. She's probably busy making the world a better place, man. Yeah, she is kind of the same. Yeah, it does kind of beg the question. What does she see in you? Ah, what is she? Yeah, I'm so ugly. Ah. <laughs> Go well, lad. Go well. I'll see you later, man. Have a good one. Bye, 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 bye. Vale. Cuando estés listo, inicia la cita. Perfecto, pues vamos a que nos lean las cartas del tarot. Me gusta eso en una chica. Eso también. Ok. Knock, knock. Oh, my God. Hey, sorry. I thought I better be early because of last time. No, no, no. No, you're all right. Oh, and thank you for doing a tarot reading, by the way. I, like, was looking at the other games. I was just like... I think this will be a little bit different. Yeah, listen, I don't know much about it, but I'm a willing guinea pig. You are in for a treat, young man. Okay, should we just do this? I'm quite excited. Yes. Okay. So, this is my tarot deck. Nice. Um, tarot deck should be like really personal to their owner. Um, it sort of acts as a vessel of their energy to give Like an authentic reading. So, like, kind of like um, an energy sponge. Yeah, I mean, there are very different types of readings that you can do. Um, but for today, I'm just going to do like a simple general reading that goes into your past, present, and future. Do you know? So, I thought that they only told the future. That is a common misconception. They actually don't tell you anything um, at all, really. <laughs> It's more. <laughs> Hey! No, they just, like, <laughs> bring up stuff in your life um, that you can sort of delve into and consider. Cool, listen, let's just get delving. Okay. So, um, the first two cards I pick out are going to pertain to your past. Okay. Nervous. You should be. <laughs> okay. Okay. Which card are you more drawn to? The moon or the page of pentacles? Okay, and uh, you're not going to give me any tips, right? Like, you're not going to tell mm -hmm. me which one is better and it's going to tell me I'm more amazing. <laughs> That's not how this works. Okay. Uh... Vamos a escoger entre un arcano mayor y uno menor y las dos están al derecho. Vamos a coger la luna. Vamos a coger el arcano mayor. The moon, moon. I'm gonna go with the moon. 
Okay, the moon. Lunar leaning. Interesting choice. Okay. Um, right. So do you prefer upright or reversed? I prefer it. Por algún motivo voy a decir al revés. Re uh, reversed. Reversed. Reversed? Yep. Okay. I'm in the hot seat. So, the, <laughs> the moon card in reverse represents darkness and fear. What, from my past? Something I was afraid of, maybe? Yeah, possibly. Or it could be like something within you that others were afraid of. Um, it also represents insecurity. Does that sound familiar? Mm. Um, Hablemos. Uh, sort okay. of, but you're going to think that I'm an absolute dick if I tell you. No, I won't. I bullied a kid at school. Oh, so they were afraid of you? Oh my God, I'm honestly, I'm cringing just thinking about it. <laughs> Why'd you do it? I don't know, I just thought that Picking on him made other people laugh, and then in turn that made me look cool. So it's pretty insecure of me that I had to look and feel tough. Gosh, these cards are sharp. <laughs> well, thanks for sharing. Um, I don't think you're a dick. I sense you're a million miles away from that person now anyway. Okay, well, I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, I, I hope so. so. So this is my present. It is indeed. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, the tower or the two of swords. Vamos a seguir apostando por el arcano mayor. La torre. Um, let's go with for sure, for sure, tower. This is one of the most dramatic cards. <laughs> Don't tell me that. <laughs> okay, okay. So do you like it upright or reversed? En este caso vamos I a decir like al derecho. <laughs> I like it. We'll go upright. Upright? You sure? Yeah, sure. Okay. So when the tower stands tall, um, it symbolizes disruption, change, and awakening. Okay, well, I guess all three of those are very topical right now. It doesn't mean they're relevant to your Yeah, you're right, you're right. So? Pongámonos profundos. Okay, I guess disruption and change is plain for everyone to see. But awakening? Awakening. Okay. I've learned to enjoy my own company a bit more. And I've joined a dating app. So if, if this isn't an awakening of sorts, then I don't know what is. <laughs> Amen to that. And breathe. Cool. I feel like I got it right. <laughs> okay, my guess about my future is as good as yours. So I guess this is where the real mysticism starts, right? Wow, these are just like feelings I get. Um, you know, maybe they'll just focus your attention on an outcome you'll want to like achieve or avoid. Sure. Okay. It makes me nervous when you do that. That was this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So seven of cups or the four of ones. Four of four of ones or seven of cups. Um... What do you like the look of? Las dos veces hemos escogido la primera. Vamos a escoger la segunda carta. Vamos a por el siete de copas. Seven of cups. Seven of cups. Okay. And then upright or reversed? Um, al derecho. Intuición. Al derecho. It's going to be... It kind of looks like jelly on me, doesn't it? Okay, we'll keep it upright then. Save the jelly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> right. This symbolizes warning, hope and choices. Okay, there's yeah, a lot of things going on there. Yeah. Warning, hope and choices. What do you think of that? I guess this pandemic has been a warning of our fragility as a species. So when it all ends, I think that there'll be a lot of hope because 
we've all been brought closer together to fight one common enemy. Does that make sense? And the choices we make will define whether this horrible experience will make society better. I honestly think it's all about teamwork. Yeah. Everybody coming together. And I know that, again, that's like another cliche that people always say, but I do believe that. Yeah, I agree. Well, thanks for being so open with me with this stuff. Um, not everyone is. No, it was all pretty insightful, I have to admit. I learned a lot about you. Good stuff, I hope. Oh, exclusively. OK, good. <laughs> You um, you articulate your emotions well. Oh, that's cool. That's good to that's good to know. Okay, I am not allowing this whole date to be about me. What it hasn't? Okay, listen. What we're doing now is we're going to switch roles. You want to do a reading on me? Yep. <laughs> and we're just going to see what we come up with, and you can laugh at me if you want. Okay. You don't have a deck. Ah oh, shit. <laughs> okay, how about you pick a card and then I'll, inter <laughs> I'll interpret it for you. Well, that is not how this works, but let's see what we get. Who knows? I might actually be really good at this. So, yeah, sure. Maybe. Okay, yeah, you shuffle them. And I'm going <laughs> to do that breathing thing that you do then. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Saffron, are you okay? Oh my god, oh my god, I'm not okay, I'm not okay. I'm so hot. I'm so hot, I'm so hot. Uh, <laughs> Saffron? <laughs> Saffron, is there any. Is it. <laughs> Saffron. Nos vamos a quedar porque parece que está teniendo un ataque de ansiedad, tampoco parece grave. Aunque sea grave. Okay, Saffron, listen to me, right? You're fine. You're fine, oh, I promise no, you. No, no, I'm gonna die. No, 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 listen to me. I promise you right now, you're not gonna die, okay? I'm not gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna stay right here on the other side of this call, okay? So take a minute and it's fine, all right? I'm right here. That's it, just breathe. Take as long as you need, okay? I'm right here. I'm so sorry, Vinny. I'm so embarrassed. Honestly, don't be, all right? We've all got shit to deal with, and the support is what's most important, so I'm just, I'm just glad I could be here for you. Thank you for staying. <laughs> You're beyond kind. I, I understand that this is all too much for you. Please don't even think about it. On okay? a second day as well. Listen, <sighs> why don't you just go Chill out, get some rest. Yeah, sorry, I'm I'm just gonna go to bed. It's fine. You're a gem. Um good night. Good night, Saffron. And take care of yourself, yeah? Mm. Fuck man, how did he even know how to deal with a panic attack? I I didn't. <laughs> I guess I just, I, I did what I would want in that scenario, which is not be left alone. Hey, you are a top, top man for that, man. Well done. Seriously. I just hope she's OK, man. I hear that, man. But what a difficult thing to have to struggle with, you know? Look, obviously, this is something you have to consider whether you can handle or not. Of course. Um, I have to be all in. It wouldn't be fair to either of us otherwise. Mm. So, how was the date going before that? 
I have to say that it was going great. Hey. Um, she's into some really different stuff, but I, Callum, I just, I, I love it. And I think that I'll really broaden my horizons with her. Wow. <laughs> I never thought that I would hear those words coming out of your mouth, bruv. That's big. Neither did I, but mm. I had a lot to learn from her and hopefully she had something to learn from me, but... I don't know what she's going to learn from you, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Man, that's good, man. <laughs> I think you can actually learn a lot from me, and uh, you know. Oh, is it? <sighs> All right, man. Hey, I'm hitting the sack. <laughs> you got some things to do tomorrow, and I hope that goes well for you. Yeah, I back myself. Hmm. So, what do you need me for? Everything else. <laughs> Everything else in my life. Yes. I need. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Nah, as always, I appreciate you, man. Love, man. Take care, man. Yeah, I shall. Right. Peace. Bye-bye. Se aprueban tu segunda cita con Grace para esta noche. Las segundas citas son citas para jugar. Grace ha elegido yo nunca. Interesante. Interesante, pero lo vamos a dejar aquí. Saffron ha dejado el listón altísimo. Al menos para mí personalmente. Veremos qué pasa con Grace... Porque también tenía muy buena pinta en la primera cita. Pero supongo que lo veremos en el siguiente episodio. Este se va a quedar aquí. Así que yo me voy a ir despidiendo. No sin antes recordaros que le deis a like al vídeo. Si os ha gustado que os suscribáis para más. Un fuerte abrazo a todos. Y ya nos vemos en la próxima aventura.